Let's review the past tense in English. We use the past tense to talk about something that happened. It could have happened long ago or just a short while ago. Here's some vocabulary that we use to express a time uh, past so that we can use the past tense with these expressions. Maybe something happened last night or yesterday, two days ago, last Monday, last week, last winter, five minutes ago, two days ago, a month ago, three years ago, many years ago, a long time ago. All those are some expressions that we would need to use the verbs in the past tense. So how do we form the past tense? Well, for a regular verb, it's quite simple. We just add ed to the verb. So if the verb is walk today, I walk. Yesterday, I walked. If the verb ends in e, just add d. So the verb is live I just add the D, and now the verb is lived. I live in Avondale. Many years ago, I lived in Kennett Square. If the verb is work, we just add ED. So, I work at the library now. I worked in a school for many years. If the verb ends in a consonant and Y, you change the Y to I and add ED. So, for example, hurry. We make it say hurried. We change the Y to I before we add ED. So I hurry every day to get to work on time. I hurried yesterday to get to the grocery store before it closed. Copy becomes copied. I copy my files on the computer. I copied these files for you so that you could listen to the lesson. Some short verbs which end in a consonant need it doubled before adding ed. So that last consonant needs to be doubled. For example, stop becomes stopped with two p's when you write it. Of course, when you say it, it's not going to be as evident. You will not hear it. There's no difference between stop and stopped, really, except for the d sound at the end. But you need to write it with two p's. Plan, double n when you write it, planned. So, I plan my lessons. I planned this lesson for you, okay? Many verbs are easy to form in the past tense because they just need an ed on the end. However, there are quite a few irregular verbs. Here are some verbs below which don't follow the pattern of just add ed. And what I like to do is to put them into groups so that it will be easier to memorize their irregularities. So I've labeled the groups. Uh, I have the O group. In this group, all the verbs change to their vowel in the present tense to an O. The vowel's not always the same. Sometimes it's an A, sometimes it's an E, and sometimes the verb in the uh, present tense is an I, which goes to O. So here are some examples. Drive in the present becomes drove. Speak, spoke. Get up, got up. Take, took, double O there. Write becomes wrote in the past tense, and break becomes broke. So, I break many glasses in the kitchen when I wash them. Last night, I broke a dish, okay? Then there's the T group. The T group has ends in a T. Doesn't have T in the present tense, but in the past tense, yes, it does. So, I sleep six hours. Last night, I slept seven hours. Feel, felt. Leave, left. Build, built. Spend, spent. So, I don't spend much money now because I don't go to TJ Maxx to shop every week. But last week, I spent money because I shopped online. Okay? You have to memorize some verbs, and eat is one of them. In the present tense, I say, I eat. But last night, I ate. A-T-E. There's a group that has G-H-T in it. It could be an uh, O-U-G-H-T or an A-U-G-H-T. So we have buy in the past tense, we say but. Teach, taught. Think, thought. Catch, caught. Bring, brought. The A group 
Some of these in the present tense have a U or an I, even an O, that change to an A in the past tense. So I run, yesterday I ran, sing, sang, swim, swam, begin, began, come, came, drink, drank, sit, sat. And you have to memorize these two. Make becomes made. So I make a cake for my daughter's birthday. Last night, I made a pie. Do becomes did. I do all my homework for class. I did my homework five minutes ago. Okay. There are some that have a crazy pronunciation and the verb read is that. It is pronounced read in the present tense. In the past tense, it's read. So I read two books a week. Last night, I read the newspaper and two magazines. I read. Last night, I read. It's spelled the same, pronounced differently. There are some verbs, believe it or not, that stay the same in the present and in the past tense. And here is a list of just four of them. So cut just stays cut. So I cut tomatoes for my salad. This morning, I cut fruit to put into my cereal. Hit stays hit. Same with wet. It stays wet. And cost stays cost. Okay, I want you to try to do an exercise where you are going to put all the verbs that are given to you in parentheses in the past tense. And it's going to make a little story, each one of them. There are three. So, Put the verbs given to you in parentheses in the past tense in each one of these. And if you do that and you look at the very end when you're finished, you'll be able to check your answers. Be careful. Lots of the verbs are irregulars, which we just went over. So don't worry. You can come and look at the groups that I formed for you. You can make little notes for yourself and check your verbs at the end to make sure you have everything correct. All right. Good luck.